Hello everyone, if you are already a subscriber, you know that this channel is all about landscape photography on location and making vlogs outside, taking photos in the nature, trees, photos. Uh, but unfortunately, because of the situation that we are facing these days, I am making this video at home and I am not going to make any, vo any video outside. Mm, I would say in the near future, hopefully I will be able to go outside again and make videos but i think there will be something like two or three videos at home so today's video i'm going to talk about this lens i i know that i made a video about this lens two weeks ago but i was thinking about this lens in terms of landscape photography and nature photography trees photos but today i want to talk about this lens in terms of macro photography as you know this lens the sigma 7300 millimeter lens it's a macro lens also it's called a macro lens so i will show you sample photos about using this lens here at home and i will also use a tool i will add a tool to this lens to make it like more than macro i don't know if i can call it super macro lens if i add this tool that i will show you at the end of this video and with the help of this tool i think i can make super macro photos which are also more than the macro photos that this lens can make or can afford you i'm not going to use any tripod i will make all the photos handheld because i'm going to use the built-in flash and a diffuser i made at home this is a handmade diffuser obviously as you can see and i will take a photo of this flower here this small flower i have at home and i was thinking that yeah you know to take photos about this flower i will start right now and i will show you sample photos at 200 millimeters macro and 300 millimeters and after that i will try to use the tool that i was talking about and show you the big difference that this tool can give me if i uh, if i am taking the photo without this tool and with this tool and you can see the difference and you can decide yourself so this will be my diffuser on the built-in flash and there's no external flash or something like that so I will start, as I said, at 200 millimeters. After that, 300 millimeters, and show you all the results. So right now, I will take it at 200 millimeters, and I will be the closest I can to the floor. Let's try to take the same photo at 300 millimeters. So as you can see, this is a 200 millimeter and this is a 300 millimeter. So as you can see, this is the closest possible to the floor that this lens may give me. And for me, I can I can call it macro, but I can't call it I can't call it super macro because, um, as you know, I tried a lot of things before in in terms of macro photography. I tried to to use my 1805 millimeter lens. Uh, I tried to reverse it with a reverse link ring sorry with a reverse ring and the results are a lot better and i i reversed also my 50 millimeter lens and i used a close ring which i am going to use right now on this lens and i will show you the results amazing but the lens itself i don't think this is really macro i i'm going to call it close up because because i'm i can't make very macro photo or super macro photo with it and that's why i can't call it macro lens like other macro lens other you know nikkor lens or canon or sigma lens which are really macro lens so what i will do right now is i am going to use uh, close-up rings to this lens i'm going to use one plus one plus two and plus four plus ten i don't think i can use it because it will be very blurry and there, was, there will be a lot of things out of focus even if I yeah, use something like F20 or F22 for example I can use F32 but I think it will be so soft and I will try anyway I will try uh, the plus 1, 2, 4 and 10 in front of you but as I said plus 10 I'm not sure it will work
So as you can see, I'm, I hope it's focusing right now. Uh, I'm using the plus one and I will show you the same photo. I will try to change the f-stop to 16 so that I hope my photo will be more sharp. I think I can call it now super macro because I'm so close and the leaf is so small but now I can have it so big in the composition. So as you have just seen the use of these close rings uh, on this lens gives more possibilities and uh, gives also better results than using only this lens. I'm not saying actually that this lens is bad at macro but if you are like me familiar with reversing your lens the 50 uh, millimeter lens the prime lens 50 millimeter lens or the 1855 millimeter lens or the 1805 millimeter lens if you are familiar with reversing this lens this lens and using them like uh, for macro photography you will not be very happy you will not be very happy with the results about this lens because the photos that came from reversing the lenses which i was talking about are a lot better than using this lens so if you are familiar with reversing your lens you will not be so happy with the result of this lens but the using of the close-up ring is very as you have just seen is very good and it gives i think i can say extreme macro photos mm, because as you have just seen the the leaves of this flower is very small something like three millimeters or something like that <laughs> it's so small and that's why i think I can call it super macro or extreme macro. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you can now decide and make better decisions about the using of this lens in terms of macro photography and in addition to using the close-up rings. Um, I will end the video right here. Please subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay at home. See you soon. Bye.